YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Bearman17 coming to y'all with a quick video today. Uh, I only got 10% on my phone, but I gotta get this video out to y'all real quick. Uh, and just real quick before the video start, if you enjoy the videos about credit, credit cards, making money, stuff like that, finances, pretty much things like that, uh, comment down below. I'm gonna have plenty more videos like this here coming. But pretty much this video here today, I'm gonna just be telling y'all. How I got my credit score up to a seven, uh, 760. How I got my credit score up to a 760 at the age of 26. Um, and really just how you could how you could build your credit up and the exact credit cards that you need in order to build your credit up. All right, so without further ado, we can get straight into it. I got my cards right here. Uh, I'm not gonna show y'all, or I mean, I'll show y'all the cards as long as the numbers are showing, things like that. Oh, I'm gonna cover the number up or yeah, I'm, gonna just cover the, I'm gonna just cover it up so y'all can't see it. Y'all can see the card, but y'all can't see my info. So first off, first card I got, the Capital One Platinum, okay? Capital One Platinum card, that was, let me lock my doors real quick. Capital One Platinum card, uh, it was a secure credit card that I got. My first credit card that I got, I was probably around like 2021. Uh, probably put like two, 200 or two to $500 on it, uploaded it on there or whatever. I send you the card, you get to use it. It looked like this right here, Capital One Platinum card. All right, it's a great card. Doesn't come with any like rewards, boost, anything like that. But that's the first card that I got. Use it to build up my credit. All right, moving on to the second card that I got. It's gonna be really like the main card that I'll be using most of the time. But that's gonna be the the Discover It, the Discover It card. It's the main card I'll be using. Uh, the bonuses or like the points that you got with it. That's really what drew me to the card. Five percent rotating categories. Your first year at double, so that's 10% cash back. The categories, they could be things like gas for a quarter, uh, Amazon, grocery stores, things like that. So I mean, just getting that cash back, like I said, 5% cash back on the rotating categories, 1% cash back on everything else. That first year, it multiplies two times. So that's 2% cash back on everything else. Great car to use. All right, the limit is not bad on it either. I forgot to tell on the Platinum, after after about a year or whatever, they boosted the limit up to damn near ten times the amount that I put in there. Uh, I'm gonna just tell you, it's in between two thousand and ten thousand. That's how much the limit is on that card. The Discover It card, the limit on that card. Whenever I first got it, it was probably it's probably pretty low, somewhere in between one thousand and five thousand. Where it's at right now, I'm gonna say it's in between five thousand and twenty five thousand. So, you trying to stack up your credit or whatever available funds, you could do that. The second card I got, I got a Chase Freedom Unlimited. Chase Freedom Unlimited, look it up. I'm not even gonna show it to y'all. I don't use that card too much. Really, only only thing I use it for is whenever I gotta like upload cash to like say like underdog prize picks or whatever. That's really all I use it for. No really like good. I mean, I, I think I got it because it might have had like a like a twenty thousand like twenty thousand bonus points or something like that. Say you spend like a couple grand or whatever. I got it. I mean, I, I just got it just because I wanted to get into that Chase ecosystem. All right, so I had the first Capital One Platinum card. Uh, then I got the Discover, then I got the Chase. All right, the next two cards that I got, these are gonna be the, the two highest tier cards that I got, the highest tier list, or whatever the whatever you wanna call it, bro. These are gonna be the highest tiers. All right, actually, I don't even, one of them, I don't even have it on me. But it's gonna be the Capital One Venture card, not the Venture, or it's the Venture card that don't got the annual fee on it. All right, Venture card without the annual fee, you get a fat limit on that. Uh, if you want a fat limit, that's the card you got to get. The second one, the Amex Gold card. Y'all, if you're watching this video, you already know what the Amex Gold card is about. I don't got to show it to y'all. Uh, it got an annual fee. I think it's like two ninety five. It's not a bad card. I did get a decent reward. I, I'm up to like close to ninety thousand points on it. So again, those are the cards that I use. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, I'm twenty six. Started with the the Capital One Platinum at like twenty twenty one, whatever twenty. I don't even know. Camera, I, mean, I could look it up. I could look it up, but over the span of a few years or whatever, you get what I'm saying? Up to a 760, and pretty much I'm at the point where I'm now purchasing a house. Okay, so if you want to know how I'm able to purchase a house at the young age of 26 with the great credit that I built up, subscribe to my channel, watch the next video. I'm gonna be talking about how I was able to purchase that house. All right, I'll see y'all the next one. Go. On.